Hey guys, my name is Michelle. I work here at Walzer Toyota in Bloomington. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2022 Toyota GR Supra. It's a 3.0 premium. Let's take a look at the exterior. So the cool thing about the Supra is they actually redesigned it in 2021 and uh, Toyota is actually committing to making new improvements every single year. So from the 2021 to the 2022, they made some adjustments to the chassis as well as increased the horsepower and the torque a little bit. This guy is going to have a 3.0 liter engine um, with a single turbo on the inside. So it's a 3.0 inline uh, turbo engine. Um, some cool things about the exterior of this feature here, daytime running lights uh, as well as three uh, actual LED headlights here as well as three high beam headlights as well. Um, this right here is a Toyota safety sensor. Uh, this has all the safety features that'll protect you when you're racing your car or driving in the street on everyday driving. Over here, new to the 2022 design, we've got the air vent here, uh, which is an addition to the non-functional one on top. What's gonna be called the adaptable sport variable suspension. Uh, that is automatically gonna adjust the suspension based off the surface you're driving to give you the best and smoothest ride. As well as that, we're also gonna have uh, rear sport differentials in the back, which is going to um, control your wheels and give you the best cornering speed. So you have risk of over or under steering and driving off uh, the curve that you're going on. Um, so if we follow the body here, we've got some more uh, air vents on here just for display. Um, we've got the aerodynamics of the body here, as well as the flare fenders here. Um, right here, we're going to have 19 inch um, aluminum forged metal with twin spokes on here and a two-tone design, which looks super slick. Um, in addition to that, we're gonna have Michelin Sport tires on here, so you know you've got the best traction on the road. So on the back of the hatch here, we have the signature duckbill spoiler right here, as well as the back uh, tail lights right here were redesigned in 2021, which gave it that really mean uh, racing look that a lot of people really love and appreciate. As well as down here, we have a stainless steel tipped exhaust, a dual exhaust on the back, uh, Toyota emblem, of course the super emblem, and you can't forget about the GR down here. Let's hop inside and take a look at the interior. So one of the really awesome features about the interior in this guy, we're actually gonna have leather on the 3.0 premium trim. Uh, so we've got the same seats that are in the 2021 uh, with this really awesome sport stitching here, which gives it a really sleek look. Um, if we look at the doors as well, we've got the classic BMW designs and Supra um, is a mix between BMW and Toyota. It's got a really sleek look, which has JBL speakers on the side. And we're actually gonna have a 12 speaker uh, JBL premium audio system in here with two subwoofers in the back. So in this one, we have the 8.8 inch touchscreen, so we have a ton of space up here. You can actually control it right on the screen if you'd like to, or you can use, um, down here we have a pad where you can press the buttons and scroll through. Uh, it's gonna be very similar to the BMW-based iDrive because the Toyota Supra is a mashup between Toyota and BMW. It's on the 8.8 inch touchscreen up here. You can actually uh, create your own custom sport mode, which is really cool. So on the center console, we're going to have a sport mode button down here and you can actually adjust what you want your sport mode to be if you want it to be, be between normal driving and sport mode or just do complete sport mode for the entirety of your vehicle, you're welcome to do that too. If you go up here, select my vehicle, vehicle settings, go down and configure sport individual, you can actually change all of these settings if you want to. So you can change the dampening here if you wanted to change the suspension. Um, you can change the steering. Um, so right now in regular drive mode, the steering wheel has a lot of give in the middle. If you change it to sport, it's really responsive. So if you're not a fan of that, you can turn it off, uh, as well as you can change the engine to be in normal mode or the transmission as well. So it's really customizable sport mode, which is really unique to this vehicle. Some other super fun, uh, unique features to this vehicle are gonna be uh, the paddle shifters on the steering wheel here. Uh, so if you wanted to uh, change your speed of your transmission manually, you're more than welcome to go. Uh, the downshift and the upshift are both super responsive, especially in sport mode, so it's really cool to see. Uh, down here on the uh, drive stick, you actually have manual mode on here as well. So if you're not a fan of the paddle shifters and wanna do it old school, you can do that too. So above the steering wheel here, we actually have the gauge clusters, which are uh, fully electronic and super interesting to look to. It's got a really unique digital feel to it. Uh, if you do have the door open, it'll tell you there on the right hand side that the doors are open um, and just give you kind of a heads up. If it sees a speed limit sign, it'll pop up there as well. And then you got the speedometer on the left. Hey guys, thanks for watching again on this 2022 Toyota GR Supra 3.0 Premium. If you have any questions about this vehicle, feel free to go to www.walzertoyota.com um, as well as stop in anytime and I would love to answer any questions you have.